Using a microwave is one of the vastest ways that you can make a good food, a food you might have spent more money on, or an organic food, a nutrient-dense food, a bad or toxic food. Now, we want our food reheated and warmed up. Totally understand that. I'm gonna give you some alternatives of what myself and my family do. Uh, it's not that you could never use a microwave, but there are some downfalls. It definitely has been shown in studies to reduce the nutritional value of your food and depending on what you're warming it up in, maybe leaching chemicals into your food. So let's break down a couple of keys when it comes to the microwave. Depending on how long you cook the food, research actually shows that it may reduce the nutrient content from five or any way up all the way up to 40% or more of certain nutrients in the food. Not all nutrients, but some of them are very susceptible to this heat. Now it's a low level of radiation. Uh, inherently, that metal box doesn't give off a super toxic radiation. However, it has been linked to cataracts, so it's just something to consider. Maybe you don't wanna stand there in front of the microwave and watch your food, not the best idea. Uh, however, when you put metal in it, you can nearly blow the house up. So there's gotta be something to it. So what the research has shown, that just using the microwave for 60 seconds, for example, on a superfood like garlic. Now, garlic has a lot of cholesterol-lowering properties, heart-helping properties, uh, immune-boosting properties. But in garlic, one of the main things that does this is alanase. And alanase, the nutrient, is thought to have a lot of cancer fighting effects. Just cooking it in a microwave for 60 seconds nearly deactivates that entire potent nutrient. If you cook broccoli in a microwave, you lose 97% of the antioxidants in the broccoli compared to if you steamed it, you only use, lose 11%. A few minutes of microwave cooking on milk can destroy 30 to 40% of the B vitamins inside of the milk. And microwaving foods that are high in vitamin C, fast way to zap the vitamin C content. Here's a study below on asparagus losing its vitamin C content when it is microwaved. Antioxidants are super susceptible to decreasing when it comes to microwave use. And not only does it reduce the amount of antioxidants in the food when you do cook it, it actually increases the amount of free radicals and in some cases increases the amount of cancer causing byproducts of overcooking food. Every form of cooking is susceptible to it, but microwave can have very high levels depending on how you cook something. A lot of times because it's losing the oxidative protection of a lot of the nutrients in the foods. Microwaves are also shown to oxidize cholesterol, where cholesterol becomes dangerous when it is oxidized. Uh, microwaves lead to an increase in glucose and fat storing hormone responses inside of the body. And if you're cooking in a plastic container, the plastic can leach up to 44 different chemicals into your food. So what do we do about this instead? It's not that you can never use a microwave again. I highly encourage you to decrease the use, but our family uses a convection oven. And so we have a little oven on our st uh, stove top right next to the stove that we can pop food in, reheat it, uh, make toast in, little toaster oven. That's all you need. Great replacement for the microwave uh, and a different type of heat that's being used. We like to use the stove top put a little water in a pan, put a little oil in a pan, reheat something or use it to cook. You can use things like air fryers. Just be very careful of what the lining of the material is uh, inside of it. Make sure there's not plastic lining. Make sure there's not a coated lining that's gonna leach chemicals into your food. Otherwise you could go for an air fryer. I love the convection ovens. A lot of convection ovens now have air fryers associated with them or use the good old stovetop or oven. Might take you a couple more minutes, but it's worth protecting the nutrients in that food that you used hard earned money on to try to uh, get nutrients into your body and you're losing it based on how you cook the food. Avoid plastic containers at all costs because they leach those materials in. And just to drive it home with one more point, check out this. A group of eighth graders got together and decided they would heat water to the same temperature using a microwave and boiling it. So it's heated to the same temperature, same purified source water, and then they poured it on plants. It was an interesting study and they actually did this, and this has been repeated multiple times all over the internet, um, but just kind of drives it home a little bit as a visual. On day one, they poured it on this plant. So you use purified water that was boiled and microwaved water. And you can see the microwave water zaps these enzymes, these antioxidants, these nutrients from the water. And by the time you get to day seven, they cut trimmed back the dead parts of the plant. You can see the purified water plant was still thriving. And so what does this radiation do? We don't fully know yet on the full impact of what 
a microwave does. And waiting around for the studies kind of seems like waiting around for the studies on smoking. You're not a bad person if you use a microwave. I understand the uh, ease of it. You could certainly probably be doing worse things for your health, but to protect those nutrients, to make sure you're not leaking, leaching chemicals, and to keep your food more alive with the enzymes that are needed, try to use other methods of cooking and heating things. If you want more resources on this, check out a free book of mine below where I walk you through the microwave and a lot of other things you can avoid to make your life much healthier and experience real health.